brought to you by the North Ward Center. Welcome back to Capitol Report. We're pleased to have back with us once again, Dr. Pamela Clark, who is the President and Chief Executive Officer of Newark Community Health Center. It's good to see you, Doctor. Thank you for having me, Steve. Doctor, welcome. Thank you. You always help us on giving us a health update. Where are we in the summer of 2016? Affordable Care Act in New Jersey. What are the really good things that have happened so far, particularly as it relates to those who are now insured? I'm glad you asked. That's a very awesome question, especially for the consumers. And um, what I'm going to say is that we represent New York Community Health Centers, and we see the underserved people in the community. We're excited to see that since the Affordable Care Act, since um, 2003 to now, a dramatic increase in the number of patients that are coming to our health centers. And this is because um, the act allowed us to expand Medicaid in New Jersey. And then through the federal government, they gave us funding for us to go out and educate people, not only about the fact that they've expanded health care, but also to encourage people to utilize the health insurance when they get it. So because of that, the number of people have increased to the people coming to the health center for service. So th that federal money that you've gotten or that the state has gotten in order to educate people about the uh, availability of insurance, um, is that money still there? Um, no, it's not. It was a one-time money right. that they gave us. They gave us in the first year and the second year. And, um, and the third year, they said they're going to roll it into our base grant. And I think that's what they did. And that's good for us because we kept the staff. The first year, we hired seven outreach workers to do the education. And now we've added two community health workers. And we've also added two CMTs to do with the clinical CMTs guidance. Are, yeah, um, but but <clears throat> the, the reason I ask that is because I read an article where the majority of people who signed up for some kind of insurance here in New Jersey happened that first year where you were able to go out and educate, but not so much since. Is that a problem? It's, it is a problem because we would love to have more funding so we could hire more people. Our needs assessment for New York Community Health Center state that there are 430,000 people in the community that needs this service. How do we reach the 430,000 people? And, um, and so having seven outreach workers is just a tip of the iceberg. Right. We need more funding so we could hire more people. So let's, one of the things, Doctor, that we've talked about a lot, um, one of the things we've learned about the Affordable Care Act, the implementation of it, really involves the health care exchange, the online exchange. Yes. Mm -hmm. How much better is it? How much more manageable, easier to negotiate is it today <laughs> than it was when it opened up, right? <laughs> yeah. We did a whole bunch of programs yes. with other folks in the media. <laughs> What's it look like today and how manageable? All right, very good question. What I'm going to say is this, that NCAT has contracts with all the Your insurance companies. Yes. By the way, the, health, the, the, the website hasn't changed. No, it is has it not. Is it healthcare.gov? Yes, it hasn't changed. That is true. Healthcare.gov. Health uh, I know we don't have a ready team. Mm -hmm. it's, health, it's just healthcare.gov. .gov, yes. Mm -hmm. Put it up there. Let's talk about it. And if you Google, you can get it. The most important thing is that you have to tell people about the website. And, uh, because a lot of people still don't know. And mm -hmm. the reason, too, is because people think of food first and they think of their security and their homes. They don't think of healthcare first. So they'll Google everything else but <laughs> healthcare.gov. Well, you Google uh, healthcare.gov, right? And you still don't understand. Oh, yeah, like what happens? <laughs> like, how much more manageable is it today to find out the information you need today? It is complicated a little bit still, well, isn't it? Well, everything is complicated. <laughs> that's right. Come on. Even that going is, to the doctor is complicated. Break it down for us. Give people advice. They're looking at it for the first time, mm -hmm. which is hard to imagine. But I bet there are people today sure. going to go on healthcare.gov. They go on it. Give them some advice. Good. First and foremost is that when you get on that site, everything is clearly labeled in terms of where do you go in order to click. The first click is very clear. <laughs> like, for example, what am I clicking? Well, you're going to see the tab which says if you need health insurance, you know, you start here. Got it. If you need uh, to answer questions, there is a listing for uh -huh. question and answer, so it is quite clear. Oh, no, the point is you have to take the time. You can invest. Yes. You have to invest in yourself. Mm -hmm. So you have to invest in the time, Steve. And a lot of times people don't invest in the time to go through it. <laughs> they have reduced the number of clicks or the number of pages for the application, which is excellent. But it still is a bit lengthy. And so you have to invest the time uh, to do so. so. So, Doctor, there were three goals to the uh, Affordable Care Act. One was to get people insured. And apparently here in New Jersey, that's been very effective. But also it was to lower cost 
and to increase uh, health care, the quality of health care. How is New Jersey doing on those other two fronts? No, what I'm going to say first and foremost is that New Jersey has done well in increasing access to health care. If you notice from 2013 to now, 1.7 million people have been registered for Medicaid and for the CHIP sure. program. That's awesome. CHIP is? CHIP is for the children. It's like Medicaid okay. for children Got as it. opposed okay. to Medicaid for adults. You think you have enough acronyms in health care? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so how about the costs? Chip. Is it, is, are the costs down or, and are they going to stay down if they are? Cost is something we haven't gotten enough information on at uh -huh. this time to determine whether or not it is it has helped to reduce costs. But what I will say is that it has increased the number of people who have access to health care. And if they use it and they go to see their primary care doctors, it will help to lower the costs on the side of the hospitals. So I think we need to look to see more of that data coming in to see if costs have been lowered. So I don't, I don't have the answer Well, how right about now. this one? We talk a lot about, over the years, we've talked a lot about the number of people going to the emergency room mm -hmm. and the fact that we have to reduce that number. Mm -hmm. We are in a city where there are a few hospitals, mm -hmm. several emergency rooms. What do we know about the number of people going to emergency rooms and whether that number has been reduced? Mm -hmm. I think that the numbers has been stable with a little bit of reduction based on what I've seen or heard. We don't have all the statistics, but I do go to those meetings like with Barnabas Health System or with the University Hospital, and they're saying that they're managing their numbers. So just on right. a word itself. But what I will tell you is that um, as a New York Community Health Center, I keep saying that because we're the largest in Essex, right. and uh, we see 40,000 patients each year. So we are the leading FQHC in Essex, and we are federally attached, qualified health federally centers. qualified health centers. Right, and we are attached through a program with all Mental the left, hospital systems. What it means, yes? No, go ahead. Go ahead. What it means <laughs> is that we have an electronic attachment to all the hospitals so that if somebody goes to the emergency room and there are patients huh. or they're not, then after they're discharged, because they must see them, Steve, Got it. they send them That's back great. to us. That's and great. we have hired also another set of community health workers to help us to deal with the volume of yeah. patients that we have to call to invite them back to the health center. So that's a good thing, Steve. Appreciate it. Dr. Pamela Clark. Uh, MBA, PhD, President and CEO, Newark Community Health Centers. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you it. for having me. Thank, thank, thank you, Dr. So much. Thank you. And that's it for this edition of New Jersey Capital Report. For my colleague Steve Adubato, I'm Rafael P. Roman. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Brought to you by the Northward Center, Holy Name Medical Center in Teaneck, New Jersey, the Give Something Back Foundation, and by ShopRite Supermarkets.